Hi, this is Dendon Kubakungan of Green Hills Christian Fellowship at Angkas, and welcome to the Advent series of Evo on Video. Isaiah 53 finds this, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed in our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, for by his wounds we are healed. Have you ever lied, said hurtful things to a friend, disobeyed your parents, showed unforgiveness to your husband or wife, or talked back to your boss? Well, these are just some of the things or some of the sins that we commit. As humans, even if we try to do good, we sometimes still fall because the nature of the flesh is sinful. Sin makes us feel uneasy. It meddles us with our thoughts that keep us awake at night. We sometimes replay that moment multiple times thinking of what we could have done differently. For others, the sin that they did makes them suffer its consequences. It is unsettling in our spirit. It robs us from peace and joy, thinking that we cannot be forgiven. That feeling may last for a few minutes and may even linger for years if left unsettled. Others think and do different things just to break free from that feeling. They are in constant conflict and disturbance within themselves. Perhaps you are one of those people. Maybe you are thinking of a way to escape from that. But how? The answer is who? The answer is Jesus Christ. Jesus was pierced, crushed, and punished for our sins. He bore the weight of our sins when he was hung on the cross and willingly sacrificed himself through that excruciating death so that through him we can have forgiveness. Ephesians 4.32 says, Forgiving one another just as God in Christ forgave you. Just as God tells us to forgive others, we, are, we can also forgive ourselves because He first forgave us. Forgiveness allows us to have peace within us. Jesus' wounds gave us peace. Peace, as stated in the verse, means shalom or an inward sense of completeness and fullness. We can let go of the guilt and of the hurt because Jesus had already forgiven us. It is in Christ's bearing of sins that we can experience healing and well-being. We can experience the fullness of His blessing, the redemption of sin. For this week, let us light the second candle of Advent, the candle of peace. This Christmas, let us be reminded of the birth of Jesus Christ, the giver of peace. Have a peaceful Christmas, everyone. See you on our next Evo on video.